hello friends my name is and, uh, i am back with uh, another video and this is playlist you can access this playlist uh, for the full video of project uh, development course okay and uh, i last uh, we was in this code and in every video you will get the uh, link of the code also you can see that there is a git link github link you can easily access the code and every video have the branch suppose that video 2 the so video 2 branch video 5 video 5 branch and you can access each and every video code from here in uh, with the every video okay so let us start and uh, now we will uh, we have created the registration code now we will create the login code and in login code we will generate the JWT token okay so I'm started the coding okay I'll copy paste it here from this one and login okay and this will be also same for me And uh, here is one problem I have to use the DTO file for this and uh, this will be my uh, JSON for this login so I have email and password so I will generate the DTO file for this and I will copy the DTO code from another code right now DTO user and you can see that user is here just present and uh, both fields are required okay it is okay now i will create the route for this from the route file route and uh, i will copy paste it login login now we can see I am here I will come inside my project this is my project Here is a command to run this code. Uh, this is library loading package. You can use it. Okay, now you can see that it is running. And uh, when I will make a one request, then it will print me the, that particular input. You can see that. Okay, I have made the trim, but I have not used that one. So I will use this one and just paste it here. And you can see that it is working fine. Which field is required? Name field is required. What is the problem? Okay, I have to use change it now we we'll use login for this now you can see that it is coming and what is the purpose of this file user DTO login and this line uh, this is my validation here this is validation written here okay and uh, this will receive that input okay and my input is in json format and should bind json 
will convert that json into structure format and also make validation if there is any issue it will generate the error so i am generating the error for this i am removing this you can see that invalid email format so my validation is also working correctly now i will create the login for this okay to save the time i have already written the code for login find out the uh, code from the description link okay token generation is not there okay we will check this web token generation okay I'll check this and which one is missing also this function is missing uh, actually when you will make login just you will check that particular user is available or not in the database so this function is saying that so I will write this code first okay in model so I have already written that code. so I will copy paste this one in my model error settled now this one is also missing so I already have this code to generate the token So I think I have to copy paste this full pack, uh, package code. Uh, okay. Controller, controller, controller package. Move paste. Okay. And I have to just settle that dependency go get okay now it's working fine i will explain each and every line first uh, we have to gen uh, run this code okay a i r here now i will run, run this code you can see that my JWT token is generated for this user. It is successful login. And if I will I have wrong password, then what will happen? Then you can see that invalid password, status false, error, incorrect password. And uh, if suppose that this user is not available done user not found it's working correctly so it has been generated again status true and uh, no error D and uh, JWT token is generated so I will now I will explain each and every line login what is the purpose of the login in case of APIs, REST APIs, we will not use the session. We will use JWT token. What is JWT token? A token, JWT token is that which is a random uh, string 
which has three parts you can see that uh, this is divided by dot okay one dot is here one dot is here okay so there is three parts one for signature data and uh, other values are included inside it so this is the unique value which cannot be hacked if your signature uh, is uh, uh, signature method is leaked only then it can be hacked okay so you can uh, see that till here i have the validation and trim the value if there is any white space user i am getting that email id that by email id i am getting that getting that is this user is available in database or not so i have uh, used the where command and user is active take what is take okay the, if you will go to the gorn query there are three types of methods first take and last first will order by id it will uh, uh, give you the first value and the last will give you the dis uh, descending order this is ascending order by default order by id order by id descending and there is no order so it is very useful and uh, most of the users are using that tick and it is used to receive the one value access the one value from the database okay so uh, why i am writing this one suppose that uh, there is an issue and uh, to so i want to check that particular user is available or not and it is also for possible that no record found gorm is treating if you record not found then this is also treated as an error okay so i have used it now this is error checking log writing and this is response of sql error suppose that user not found data is null user data is null then i will say that user not found and if user found then this function will just will just uh, compare both password input password and uh, password available inside the database this is database password and this is the input password if this is correct then okay otherwise there is uh, it will not match okay generate token and what is this and this one in case of uh, token generation you will write the user id which is auto increment id okay what is uh, auto increment id in this case uh, post user this auto increment id this is auto increment id one or two so i will write the auto increment id into that particular token and that particular role if user have any role then i can also write this and any other value which is frequently reused by my application so this is not particular role you can use any value inside it like a session okay so i have uh, used one you if it is required you can use it otherwise you can remove it so you can if you will see that jwt token generation process claim what is claim claim is that if i want to write something inside my uh, jwt token then i will use the claim here user id and role id two values i am written in my jwt token okay and this is the expiry time of the token i have my expiry time right now one year and you can use anything value here and issued at which time it uh, was issued and after that in this i will write, uh, write the signature uh, sorry signature method hs256 in interview interviewer is asking what is signature uh, what signature you have used or uh, algorithm signature algorithm you will uh, say that hs250 256 i have used okay 
so this is signing method okay get secret key I have also used it what is this this is secret key which is already written inside my environment file control H and see that this is the JWT secret key this is very important you have not to compromise this key okay so it is loaded here that's that that value is passed or the signature uh, by this signature key uh, JSON token is sorry JW token has been generated so I have just printed this J, that J, JW token now I want to analyze that what value is written inside it you will go to the JWT token will get that and if you will come here and you will paste it here you can see that my algo was that type jwt and user id was one role was one you can see that it is uh, it's available here user id role further i will use these values role and user id in my code so stay tuned right now it is enough and uh, you will get the code in the git repository uh, in the comment section or uh, description of the video okay and i think every day i will upload the video so be available